Hi, Gordo here. I'm at scene, as you know, and I'm with Asse, the gaffer, the owner. Um, the thing I like about good restaurateurs is when I spot they've got OCD, which Asse definitely has, and it's really good for the business because the attention to detail is fantastic. Asse, what's your secret? My attitude towards the business is every guest that dines at sea is not dining in a restaurant, it's like dining in my house. A lot of the dishes that we create here go through my mother, so it's important for me to understand the fact that she actually appreciates them, she likes them. If the food is good enough for my mother to eat, then I believe it's good enough for my customers to eat. Tell me something, biryanis. Yes. I used to have biryanis after I had about seven pints in the club on a Sunday <laughs> night, um, and it used to be shocking to be fair. I've tasted for the first time a biryani of yours. It's a lot different. It is. The recipe that we have for our biryani is authentic Kashmiri recipe mm -hmm. which was passed down from my mother to me and then from to my mother it was passed down through her parents so it's come through generations and we've kept all the dishes, uh, the recipes original. Uh, we've not changed anything or modified anything to suit the UK market. We've kept everything authentic as it would be back home in the subcontinent. Explain one of the dishes on here I've not seen before. This is the haddock dish. It looks really unusual. You've got a piece of charcoal there going on. What we do Tell me about it. is it's a smoked haddock. We lightly marinate it with uh, lemon, uh, some dry herbs, wrap it in a banana leaf because traditionally that's how it's done. Drill it uh, and then what we do is we get charcoal and then we put a bit of uh, oil on it and we cover it. So what happens is when Obviously the fish has been cooked and the smoke itself uh, gives you the charcoal taste as well as the smoked haddock taste. If you was to use a lot of spices for this particular dish, it would ruin the taste because we want you to taste the fish, we want you to taste the flavour of smoke, haddock and we want you to see the charcoal so it gives yeah. it a more authentic taste. And I think the idea of this fish that's wrapped in a banana leaf, the care that's taken, it's unusual. You don't see that very often at all. What about traditional dishes? They're still here, but they're still, I don't know, there's something fresh about them. How do you do this? There's something different about them. The different thing is that we cook absolutely everything as and when the order goes through to the kitchen. We don't have pre-cooked food. The only pre-preparation that we do is pre-marination for grilled items, and that's all. And the quality of ingredients is the most important thing. You know, we believe yeah. that if your quality of ingredients is gonna be good, then the end product is gonna be good. I've got a dish here, I've no idea what it is, and even I haven't tried this one, but I think, I, I'm right in saying this is one of your favorites, Asif. What it the is. hell is it? It's called a, a Royal Kashmiri Tikka. Now the reason why we give it the name Royal, um, the Moors were very well known for their food. Their empire was one of the largest empires uh, there. The Mughal kitchen was one of the kitchens where people from all over the world used to go and visit the, the royalty, uh, the, the Mughal royalty, mm -hmm. and they would always come up with exclusive food. Now how this dish is created is we get a chicken breast, we beat it down, marinate it, just to give it a little bit of flavor, we get a fresh potato, we bake it. So you beat the potato down, you add some fresh onions and some dry herbs, and you stuff the potato inside the chicken, you roll it, you grill it, and then you would bake it with cheese on the top. And then garnish it with fresh pomegranate, coriander, uh, tamarind, mango, and plum sauce. So it's something very different, but there's a lot of work that goes into yes. it. That is why you should be trying C now. now I know I'm going on with myself here, but believe me, I don't spend my time with lunatics when it comes to food, as you well know. I'll only promote something which I will enjoy as a, as a civilian, as we call it, and that's why I'm saying to you, wherever you've been before, come and try soon, because it's well worth it.